Hi everybody, welcome back to Everon in Armour Reforger on my Xbox Series S. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do some various things with your weapon. Um, we're going to be looking at changing the fire mode. Um, we're going to be looking at turning the safety on and off. Um, you probably know how to reload, but also how to go to kind of like a, a stand easy view. You know, you know, like in the inventory, how your guy kind of stands like that with his gun. Well, you can, you can walk around like that in Armoury Forger as well. I know it's a bit difficult to kind of see, but kind of he hasn't got the gun up. So let's first start off with the most important, which is changing the fire mode. So if you look in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, now this, I know sometimes on YouTube, this gets covered up by my icon, but when you look in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see your magazine um, and that will slowly, uh, uh, the white bar will go down as, as, you, as you fire it. But also you'll see a number of bullets. Now if I uh, aim down sight and tap the top right shoulder button, RB, on my controller, uh, with the AK, that goes to single shot. If you've got the M16 on your uh, person, um, when you aim, uh, let's change back to the um, sight, you see it's on, uh, it's on burst mode. And then if I press um, RB, uh, it will go to single fire. So burst mode and then press RB, single fire. And that's how you change between fire modes. Now, <laughs> now I'm not quite sure how you'd want, why you want this one, but as Armoury Forge is kind of a mill sim type of game, if you press RB, so the top right shoulder button, and then press uh, B, you'll put the safety on, on your gun. So, can you see my guy trying to pull in the trigger? You might be able to see him kind of pull in the trigger there. Um, probably in that one you just about seem trying to pull it so you've got your safety on I, I don't know of any other game that I've ever played apart from armor 3 maybe armor 2 that had you've had the ability to put the safety on I'm not sure whether you should really use this or not because I can imagine you put it on going into combat and then forgetting how to take it off so press RB and then press B and it will disable the safety and you can start firing again um, reload uh, obviously you just tap X um, and then to go to kind of like a the stand easy view like that what you do is you press RB um, and then you tap A and you'll see him kind of put his gun down like that which is quite cool to, to you know say when you're just walking around camp or just chatting with your fellow soldiers rather than having your gun up hopefully they'll add in the ability for us to sling a weapon as well when you haven't got a secondary weapon like I have on my shoulder you can, you can put the weapon maybe over your other shoulder over the existing shoulder now it'll come out of this straight away you know as soon as you aim down sight it goes back into to that sort of view but I think it kind of it kind of adds to the immersion to be able to kind of go from this all right yeah yeah and then it's okay okay guys relax okay let's move to the next area so you can kind of put your gun down and kind of I don't know if you run any faster with it like that maybe I'm not sure but there we go so to go through them <laughs> again to change the fire mode on your gun just tap rb and it will go between fully auto or burst and single fire like so um if you want to put your safety on tap r well press and hold rb and then tap uh, b on your controller and we'll put the safety on so you can't fire press uh, top right hand shoulder button rb and tap uh, b again to turn it off um uh, to go to kind of um Stand easy arms, press RB, the top right shoulder button, tap A, and you're kind of going to this more relaxed stance for walking around. So there we go. Hopefully you found that um, uh, video useful. Um, and if you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.